Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to AMC Versus, the show where we take a hotly contested topic in the world of film. We go over the pros and cons of each and then ultimately leave it up to you guys to decide which is the winner. Today's topic, Han Solo versus Indiana Jones. Who is the better Harrison Ford character? And here to discuss and debate the pros and cons of both of these wonderful options are AMC's own, first of all, starting on my immediate left, Miss Alicia Malone. Alicia? Hello. What a great topic for my first versus. This is your first. Ooh. She's a versus virgin. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> and sitting to her left is, of course, Mr. John Schnepp. Hello, everyone. So we're talking Han Solo versus... Indiana Jones, here's how it's going to go. We're going to go over the pros and the cons of the each, discuss the issue, and then what we're going to do is we're each going to give our own verdict on it, but ultimately, really, it comes down to what you guys say. In the description of this video, you'll find a link to a poll where you can go and vote on Han Solo or Indiana Jones, who is the best Harrison Ford character. Now, Harrison Ford is one of these guys... He has a load of great characters that he's played from large and small and all that kind of stuff. But he will always be, to all of us, either Han Solo or Indiana Jones. I think that's hard to debate. I mean, yeah, that dude from Witness, yeah. But I, I think when we think of Harrison Ford, this is the stuff that we think about. And both iconic, Ugh. huge pop cultural characters. Yes. So let's start with Han Solo here. Of course... You know, one of the backbone characters of the Star Wars universe, Schnepp. If you were going to argue that Han Solo should be voted for as the best Harrison Ford character, how would you defend that? I would say, I love you. I know. <laughs> so I would start it off right away as Han Solo being the coolest badass, the coolest anti-hero in any futuristic galaxy anywhere. Uh from the very first Star Wars movie where when you saw that Millennium Falcon come in and be like, wow, yeah! kid, now blow it up so we can go home. You're like, he's the badass. He's the best, coolest badass. He's the guy you want on your side. So, uh, and then Empire Strikes Back, his character develops. He falls for Leia. You know, the Luke-Leia thing was weird. They're kissing each other in Star Wars, then their yeah. brother, sister, spoiler, <laughs> uh, the brothers and sisters, guys, wake up. Um, so, yeah, and Han Solo, you know, he wasn't in it enough for me for Return of the Jedi, but as if anyone, any of the Star Wars fans knows, Harrison is a little kind of weird about his Han Solo character. Like, mm. he didn't want you just kill me already. He, was, he wanted to be written out for Return of the Jedi. He wanted to be killed, I believe, was, was probably what was going to happen. If you read the, you know, the tome of the, you know, the Star Wars, you know, each, each uh, movie they have a little, like, giant, well, not a little book, it's a giant book, and they go into descriptions on what possibly was happening with the screenplays. And one early version of Return of the Jedi, uh, Han Solo was murdered or killed. Right. And then Luke gets his revenge, so to speak. But that was an early version. So, uh, yeah, Han Solo, just the, one of the coolest smugglers ever, ever written, I think. He's one of the, the original uh, 70s badasses, one of those characters that, you know, turns it around, you know. Who shot first? Han Solo shot first. All right. Alicia, you had to defend the position that Han Solo is the coolest Harrison Ford character. How do you defend it? Well, I would add to what Schnepp was saying that he is the lovable rogue, and there's a good reason why we've seen this character pop up in so many films from, you know, Clint Eastwood in The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, even Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean and George Clooney in the Ocean's Eleven film. Mm. He's the guy that breaks all the rules for his personal gain, but he's so damn charming <laughs> that you can't help but love him. And Harrison Ford brought such a great essence to him that I cannot imagine Christopher Walken or Nick Nolte playing the role of Han yeah. Solo. You know, he has such a great sarcasm And Kurt to Russell him. was up for that role, was strongly up for the role of Han Solo too. Like he screen tested for it and everything. Totally, would have been a totally different guy. Completely different guy. I mean, Harrison really worked so hard on making that character come alive down to the great improv line that you mentioned that I love you, I know, which still kills me. I know. Plus, <laughs> Han Solo is just a cool character. He owns the Millennium Falcon. He can uh, translate Wookiee. And he, he wears a vest like a boss. That's a hard look. Yeah. <laughs> Not only does he own the Millennium Falcon, he won it from Lando Calrissian. Yes. Yeah. He got it. Like uh, We don't know what the background story for that was. Did they ever reveal that in the fan fiction? Well, it's, a, it's in the game of cards that they're playing. I can't remember the name of the card game. I'm losing my Star Wars geek cred because I totally know the name of the I even know the <laughs> rules of the game, and I'm forgetting the name of the game. But uh, he won it. And of course, I mean, and what other character in the universe is cool enough to have a Wookiee 
life bonded to them. Right. Yeah. Like Chewbacca. I mean, that is just crazy. Right. But, you know, and one of the things that I'd start with in, in defending that the Han Solo choice is there are very few characters in pop culture in the history of film or television that began to own one of the words in the English language. Because if I were to say to you the word scoundrel, mm. it's it, it's Han Solo. Right. Mm-hmm. It's Han, Han Solo is the scoundrel. I mean, all due respect to Steve Martin and Michael Caine, um, but when, when you say scoundrel, it's Han Solo. Right. And you're right, the dude shot first. He saves the day in Star Wars. He's 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 got the Wookiee connection. He's piloting the Millennium Falcon. He's one of the best pilots in the galaxy and yeah. the best. He is the, he's the Western character of Star Wars. He is the mm-hmm. gunslinger, right? The cowboy and the pirate. Oh, he's the cowboy and the pirate. He's breaking rules and winning hearts all at the same time, yeah. kissing the girls and making them cry. I mean, Stole the show from Luke. Yeah, That's I mean, right. it's just, and, and you're right, the evolution of the character through the, three films because at first he's just the guy he's out for the reward in film one falling in in number two but he's ultimately he becomes the respect he's the general he's general solo in return of the jedi by the time we get there so just hard not to call han solo one of the coolest characters in all film let alone one of the coolest characters for just one actor Um, so i think there's a strong argument to be made for han solo okay so let's look at the other side for a second let's let's look at maybe reasons you might go against han solo for a second. And the thing that starts with me, I to me, the biggest argument against Han Solo as the coolest Harrison Ford character is this. Star Wars isn't Han Solo's films. Mm. He's just one of the pieces in it. As opposed to, say, Indiana Jones, mm-hmm. where Indiana Jones is the main centerpiece of Indiana Jones. Han Solo is, is not a supporting character, but at most a co-lead mm. with the big three, Han, Leia, and Luke. And, of course, Chewbacca on the side yeah. there, R2, whatever, but... And, and to me, that's the biggest strike against him. What would you say are some of the bigger strikes against the idea of Han Solo as being his best character? He's a little prejudiced, Han Solo, <laughs> towards other cultures. Um, he's not a Jedi, although True. he can, you know, swing a saber. Right. But as we were saying, Harrison Ford himself has distanced himself from the character. That's a big knock And that him really too, yeah. taints the character for me just a little bit because Harrison has called him uninteresting, even in the Reddit Ask Me Anything right. yesterday. Someone asked him who shot first. He said, I don't know and I don't care. Yeah. Whereas Indiana, he loves. Right. Schnepp? I'm going to have to agree. I think uh, his sourness, just as Harrison Ford as one or the other characters, his sourness for Han Solo is legendary. Mm. Like, yeah. it is, like, I won't do the interview. Don't talk about Han Solo. I've, I've heard these things where it's like, look, and, and every actor has that ability to feel like, look, I don't want to talk about that. That's a different part of my life. I'm doing these things now. You have to respect that. But within, you know, a legendary character, which it is now as Han Solo and and Indiana Jones, he's all about Indiana Jones. He's like, let's make the next two. Yeah. Get those scripts cracking. <laughs> I'm ready to put the, you know, put on the fedora. I got the whip. I'm ready. Yeah. You know, and he's like pushing 70. Well, and he's ready to be Indiana Jones. But Han Solo, he's like, look, let's talk about this. For episode seven, he's still like, uh, there's got to be some caveats in order for me to be <laughs> Han Solo. Yeah. So. Well, then that's a great segue into now. Let's get over to Indiana Jones. Then let's get into this other major iconic character that he's done. You know, and it's ironic because in both cases, Harrison Ford was not the first guy. I don't believe he was the first guy picked for no. either one of the roles. There was a, a, a collection of guys in front of him for Han Solo before he eventually got it, mm-hmm. and for Indiana Jones, we all know it was supposed to be Tom Selleck, mm-hmm. who then had to back out the last second to go do Magnum PI. So, and yet now here he is owning these two iconic <laughs> characters. So, Schnepp, let's again start with you. You got to make the case for Indiana Jones being his best character what's the argument you make for that for Indiana Jones I I list Raiders of the Lost Ark (laughs) one of the coolest and best action films ever made I say above and beyond any other action film that one film to me when I saw I snuck in to see it as a kid and didn't miss anything and we were like, what is this weird Western that Han Solo's in? You know, yeah. when what, you know, we were like doing that like thing that you do as kids, like sneak into the movies, like see t- a double feature. <laughs> kids, you should do that. Uh, just kidding. Pay. Have your family pay um, <laughs> at AMC theaters, guys. Yeah. Uh, so but, you know, so th- I, we were blown away. And I don't think at that point when I was a little kid, I was just into space, outer space things and anything that was a Western. I was like, ah, the Western thing. That's nah. All of a sudden, my whole perspective changed. I was like, wow, these movies are great. Then I saw Casablanca and a bunch of other films that I would have never seen if it wasn't for Raiders of the Lost Ark. And his his portrayal of Indiana Jones is a nuanced and non two dimensional characterization. It's fully three three dimensionally. It's he's got, you know, some issues with Mary and he ran away. There's all these different things. It's oh, you're back. Like he was a scoundrel plus. 
-hmm. was like, but he was also a teacher. He was not only a, a great archaeologist who was well respected by all the community. He also was known for his adventures. No, he'll go get that thing. We watch. He also taught. So it was like one of those things that like differentiates the Indiana Jones character from the Han Solo character. Han Solo is a scoundrel. Indiana Jones is a scoundrel as well, but he's also a teacher. He's an archaeologist. He has a lot of depth to him. So for, for me, Raiders of the Lost Ark, to see Temple of Doom and the uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, you know, let's not talk about the Crystal Skull. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing the fifth and sixth movies that, you know, he wants to do. But that's a, the truth. The truth for me is Raiders of the Lost Ark. That'll live forever as one of the, the coolest action films and one of the greatest characterizations. And you, you already said it. Han Solo is part of a, a group of characters. Indiana Jones yeah. is the character. So, yeah, he Alicia, has his own defending Indiana Jones. Yeah, I was gonna say add to that he has his own theme song. He makes archaeology mm -hmm. cool. He's got intelligence. He kicks Nazi butt. He can survive a bomb by jumping into a fridge. It's pretty <laughs> cool. Uh, Sean Connery is his dad. And yeah. he's been likened to a Hemingway hero. He's the type of hero that you see in so many classic books and films. He's got morals and courage. Um, he just looks fantastic in a hat. Mm. can crack a whip. <laughs> uh, as soon as I saw Indiana Jones on screen, I fell in love. I'm partial to a hero rather than an anti-hero, which Han, Han right. is more of. I keep saying and because of my accent. <laughs> um, I, in defending the, the, the position of Indiana Jones, there are a couple things to look at, one of which is what you guys are saying. He, he has the scoundrel aspect, but there's more to him. He is the thinking man's action hero. He can go and fight Nazis barefisted, knock one into the propeller of a plane. You know, he can... Although this might be considered a negative. I was watching uh, Temple of Doom again yesterday. Yeah. It's like, okay, so she's being lowered into the lava and this metal cr cage is hanging three feet above lava, comes up and he's able to grab it with his hands no problem. Like, right. <laughs> really? And, and also she's not scalded. To death. Oh yeah, she's yeah. not melted yet. Her yeah. face isn't melted. Okay, but that's the side point. But he is, he is a more evolved character, right? Because he's got those multiple dimensions of being the scoundrel. Because in the first Raiders, he's very much a Han Solo character in many ways, especially in the way he interacts with Marion, right? The whole thing about, well, where doesn't it hurt? Here, 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 here. That's a very Han Solo thing to yeah. say. But at the same time, he's the thinking man's adventure. Plus, you know, as Han Solo... The character and the films reintroduced the, the world to the adventure movie. Mm. You know, the adventure movie used to be really big in Arrow's past, and it really brought it back. It's still probably the quintessential adventurer. You know, you can have Alan Quartermain and the Lost Minds of whatever. That's fine. Indiana Jones is, is just the quintessential adventure hero mm. at the same time, you know? So I think there's a really big argument to be made on top of the ones that you guys said there. Now getting around to the arguments we may make against yeah. Indiana Jones' as a hero, I, I, two things that really come to mind for me. Number one, you said, let's forget about the Crystal Skull. There is no forgetting about the Crystal Skull. Yeah. That was awful, and to me, that movie soured a bit of the character because Indiana Jones lost something in them. It wasn't just the movie as a whole. I didn't really like the way they treated the character as a whole, even though it was still in Spielberg and Lucas's hands, and I found that particularly sad. Um, and I didn't think Crystal Skull was the wretched mess that a lot of people. I think you put Alan Quartermain's name on that movie instead of Harris, instead of uh, Indiana Jones. And I think it's it could be considered a passable adventure action film, but as an Indiana Jones film, it didn't meet the cut. The other thing to me that I think goes against Indiana Jones is this: is where in Star Wars, Han Solo is this growing, developing one continuous story trilogy. Whereas in Indiana Jones, it's really three separate adventures of the same guy. And so you can't really follow a progression of the character. You know what I mean? And as much as I loved Last Crusade, my personal favorite Indiana Jones film, mm. uh, and where you did see, you know, he's an older Indiana Jones now. And that was pretty cool. You, there's, you miss something in the character when it's not one continuous story. You know what I mean? So to me, those are the arguments against Indiana Jones. Alicia, what would you argue against Indiana Jones being his best character? Uh, well, Indiana Jones, the character, doesn't choose the best sidekicks. <laughs> Come on, short round! No. Short round! Oh my god, short round is one of the most annoying characters ever on screen, <laughs> in my opinion. I'll you take call him Dr. Jones! Oh my god, he also doesn't choose the best women to take on his adventures. And he chooses a lot of them. I don't, he chooses a lot of them. But it's hard to argue against Indiana Jones, because, oh god, he's just, I love him. Such a hero. Schnepp arguing against Indiana mm. Jones. 
I'm just going to say what you said because it's true. Crystal Skull. Oh, it's yeah. like, that is a big con. To me, I, I absolutely hated that film. And I was like in the theater hating it. I remember watching like Shia LaBeouf and the monkeys had that like 50s hairdo. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And I was like, why do the monkeys have a 50s hairdo? And why am I thinking about that while I'm in an Indiana Jones movie? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let alone the horrible ending and the slipshod shooting. It's like, oh, here's a set that no one cares about. Let's just get over that. Right. I, I just thought the, that it was sloppily done. And look, you know, I don't want to rank on Lucas and Spielberg, but I think if they went with Frank Darabont's script, that would have been a really Which I cool, haven't read. Well, I mean, it would have been a cool. It was probably awesome, but who knows? It was, maybe it was terrible. No, it, was, it, it was awesome. Uh, yeah. Look, I mean, I'm saying I'm comparing it to Crystal Skull. It was awesome. Right. Like if, if you had to compare to and imagine what one would have been, and I never read the Crystal Skull uh, screenplay, but you know that's a mark against Indiana Jones. For Han Solo, he's got those three original Star Wars movies, which to me the original trilogy are awesome. Yeah. So there's no Han Solo in the prequels, so that doesn't ruin. Yeah. yeah, Han yeah. Solo, he's not part of the Jar Jar. If Crystal Baseball. Skull was all about the adventures of, of Indiana Jones's son, we don't count that as a mark against yeah. Indiana Jones. Right. Sure. Yeah. So I mean, for me, yeah, Crystal Skull really kind of diminished the Indiana Jones uh, character, but it didn't diminish the original three. Yeah. So I still look at it as a trilogy. And if Harrison Ford and Lucas and Spielberg can get together and do like five and six and shoot them back to back and however they're going to do it, kind of reintroduce the character. I know at least Harrison Ford said he wants to kind of make up for the fourth one. He said that. So, I mean, the other two guys haven't said, well, yeah, the fourth one wasn't that good. They haven't actually, I don't, I don't think they've publicly said it, but Harrison Ford's like, nah, we got to do a good one. To you know, to end it right. If we're going to do a good one, do five and six and end it the That's right way. That's why I want to say five and six. Yeah, just to I, get back on track. And I don't want to see five and six. Yeah. I'm, mean, you know, I've got those first three Indiana Jones films. I love them so much. I just want to keep them the way it is. And and I, I just said this before. I while I'm interested in an old Indiana Jones. Right. I'm not interested in an Indiana Jones who's not fighting Nazis. I don't know why I feel yeah. that way. I that to me, Indiana Jones fights Nazis. I don't want to see him against, you know, Russian bootsteppers. I, I just I'm not interested in. It. But we've looked at some pros, we've looked at some cons of both these guys. This is where we make the, our decision, though. Schnepp, it's now on you. The best Harrison Ford character after all we've talked about is it Indiana Jones or is it uh, Han Solo? Can I say Rick Deckard from Blade Runner? Oh! <laughs> spinning it around. Boom. I'm going to go with Indiana Jones. Why? Like I said, Raiders of the Lost Ark, main character. He's got his trilogy. I mean, look, we have a lot of Indiana Jones. Remember, they had a TV show, Indiana Jones. The, the, young the Adventures Jones. of Indiana yeah. Jones, yeah. So I'm not discounting those, but that wasn't really, like, for me, Indiana Jones with those first three movies. I loved Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'll always love that film, and I always love that character. So for me, it's going to be Indiana Jones. Han Solo is going to live on in Episode Seven, hopefully Eight, Nine. We don't know, but we're going to see Han Solo in you know as an older version of the original Han Solo that we saw. We've seen an older version of Indy. I think I hope that we do get to see Five and Six, and if they cast say like Bradley Cooper as the younger Indiana Jones fighting Nazis, and we have a wraparound story with Harrison Ford as the older version of Indiana Jones, who knows what they're going to do i'm a, i'm still in even after crystal yep. skull i'm still in to see indiana five on opening night so indiana jones for me is the the winning character okay so indiana jones your vote alicia your vote best character by harrison ford Han Solo, indiana jones well i have to go with indiana jones although i guess an argument could be made that without han solo harrison ford may never have been cast as oh indiana absolutely jones. yeah but indiana jones to me has the best of both worlds because as you were saying, Schnepp, he has the scoundrel quality, the kind of rebel quality, along with the intelligence and is more of a hero, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Indiana Jones all the way, Harrison. It's amazing that he's created these two completely iconic characters. Yeah. But Harrison, personal preference. It comes down to personal preferences in the end. <laughs> and for me, I am, while the greatest movies of all time now, yesterday, and forever will be Star Wars. <laughs> uh, Indiana Jones is the better single character. And, and the one I'm going to lean back to is the one that Indiana Jones is about Indiana Jones. And, and Han Solo is a part of the overall greatest story ever told. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Indiana just has more layers to him. There's more dimensions. He's a thinking man's adventurer. You know, I'll, I'll take Indiana Jones in a fist fight, too, between Indiana Jones and Han Solo. Uh, Han Solo probably the better gunfighter, but... Um, I just think overall two of the greatest characters ever yes. 
but I'm going to go with Indiana Jones. But really, the big question here is not what we think. We just gave our opinion. The real question is what do you guys think? It's now time for you to look in the description of this video, and you'll see right at the top a link to the poll where you vote. Who is the best Harrison Ford character of all time? Is it Han Solo? Or is it Indiana Jones? So that's what your job is now. You tell us. We'll announce the winner later on this week in AMC Movie Talk. So that'll do it for us here. I want to thank, first of all, the two people joining me on this episode of Han Solo versus Indiana Jones. First, Miss Alicia Malone. Alicia, where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Alicia Malone or on my site, Malonesmovieminute.com. Did I do okay? You did great. First, first, I'm okay. so glad you're a part Ooh. of the team now. Ooh. And I also beside her, Mr. John Schnepp. Schnepp, where can people find you online? At Instagram and Twitter, just at John Schnepp. Yep. So, yeah. Indiana Jones or Han Solo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can find me on the various social media networks just at John Campia. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. My name is John Campia for AMC Movie News. And until next time, bye bye. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.